May a sense of universal peace be upon you, around you, and may that peace, stillness, wholeness, and purposefulness emanate from within you. Much welcome. Let's take some of the curtains of mystery down off the Arabic language. It is also a wonderful language that happens to be the way God chose to communicate with the world, with all human beings in the Quran. The Quran is a book revealed in Arabic and you hear it, Allahu Akbar, or you hear some phrase which is usually something negative, or you keep seeing something that makes you feel afraid. I think the first thing we need to do is let's just take the letters of the language that hundreds of millions of people speak and let's put that into perspective today. So if you'd come with me, let's look at the letters possibly in a way you haven't looked at them before. First off, I'm going to put about four or five shapes out onto the page, onto the canvas. And I want you to imagine, just like when you were a child, your parents didn't say H-O-T because we don't speak N -I 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 N. L-E-T-T-E-R-S. We don't speak in letters. We speak in the sounds produced by the letters. So what people try to do when learning the Arabic language is they go through this A-L-I-F transliteration. Well, how are you going to learn another language through a, 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 a language that doesn't have the same sounds? So today, let's look at five letters together. I want you to take an eraser and just erase that chalkboard in your head. Whatever you think you know, Let's start from the beginning. So the first letter, the first letter or shape that we're going to look at is a straight line. Now I want you to imagine that, that straight line, what grows on a tree? And that's the first thing I want you to think about was what grows on that tree? A leaf does and you got it. So the first sound that you're going to tell me is a leaf. It's the first thing we're going to keep working, keep thinking about it. So the first letter is a stick and yes, I'll say it several times, a leaf. Now next, I want you to think about, there are going to be three boat letters, three boats, and each boat, here's our first boat. The first boat has one boy at the bottom. So I want you to pick any one word, boy, boat, and or bottom. And once you make a commitment to this, a leaf grows on a tree and there's a boy at the bottom of the boat. Now let's keep moving. So the next letter that we're looking at together is the same boat. It's the same boat, big open boat, but this time there are ta -ta 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 -ta, two, two boys. There are two boys in the boat. And yeah, you have to play with the sound a little bit, but the boat tells you, okay, I know what this is. Tap the back of your top two teeth. Ta -ta 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 -ta, ta -ta 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 -ta. Give it a little bit of time. It feels like a new sound. Ta, ta, two, two. Two, a leaf, boy, two, and now let's move to our next letter. It's right here, and if you want to, it's the same exact shape, so be confident. Make your boat again. Now this boat has one, two, three, just like you heard on Sesame Street when you were little. One, two, and bring your tongue out to the edge of the top teeth and say three, three. See, it's simple. It's really simple. So I want you to recognize a leaf grows on a tree. Boy, two, three, simple. I want you to think of it in the simplest way, simple. And you're gonna bring your tongue out to the edge of the top teeth and you'll have the lift on it. So that's a leaf, boy, two, three, alif, ba, ta, sa. And I think you're starting to get the point. The next three letters are gonna be the same shape. Just like you had three boats, we're now going to have three jugs, three pitchers. So the first jug is a straight line and a C, a straight line and a C. That jug is full. Can you say it with me? Say, j -j -j jug, j -j -j jug, you got it. And that jug is the first sound. There's gonna be three jugs. So a leaf, boy, two, three, J -j -j jug. Now we'll add in the last two, but you're starting to get it. Nothing's holding you back from creating these sounds. By the way, you could say it today, j -j -j janna, which is the Arabic word for garden or used in the Quran, it means paradise. Let's figure out our next two jugs, straight line and a C. That's right, straight line and the letter C. This jug is, and you got it, it's empty. It's hollow. It's hollow. 
like it's a little bit spicy, if you want to call it. In the middle, it's hollow. So the first j j j jug. The second one is hollow, and the third jug is the same shape, straight line and a C, but it has a scratch on the top. Can you say scratch, scratch? Oh, yeah, it's like scratching your throat lightly. Oh, oh. Oh, you don't need to owe your mouth. Just get to the back of your throat and think of the word scratch. Oh, you got it. Now come along with me so we can do this together and say it couldn't be that simple. So right off the bat, we said I have the straight line, which is the letter Alif. The straight line, the straight line is a stick. It's a tree. What grows on a tree? A leaf. Then we had three boats. The first boat had one boy at the bottom. Ba 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 ba. The second boat had two, two, two boy, two boys. Da 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 da. The third boat. You have to play with it. Tongue out at the edge of the top teeth. Simple. Three boys. Three boys. Sa 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 sa. Sa 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 sa. Yes, the air is passing between. From, uh, between my tongue and the top two teeth. A leaf, boy, two, three. We have our three j j j jugs, j j j jugs, j. The second one's empty. <laughs> Hollow, ha. And the third one has a scratch at the top. Ha, ha, scratch, ha. And there you have it. Alif, ba, da, sa, jim, ha, ha. A, ba, ta, sa, ja, ha, kha. And if you can notice at the end, kha is the only one that sounds awesome. All the other sounds sound happy. So the A in Arabic can either be awesome, kha, or the A in happy, ba, ta, sa, ja, ha. And you said this was difficult? I'll see you in the next video.